in this video i will discuss about 4 is to 1 multiplexer in my previous video i have discussed about the multiplexer how multiplexer works and i have also discussed about 2 is to 1 multiplexer now here we will see 4 is to 1 multiplexer and its truth table and how to implement 4 is to 1 multiplexer so this is the block diagram of 4 is to 1 multiplexer as we know this 4 indicates the number of input lines and 1 indicates the number of output lines as we know that 4 can be represented as 2 power 2 so in 4 is to 1 multiplexer there are 2 select lines this power indicates select lines and 4 inputs so these are the 4 input lines let me assume d0 d1 d2 and d3 are the input lines similarly as i said it has got two select lines so these are the select lines let me assume s1 and s0 are the select lines so here i will consider s1 as msb and s0 as lsb let y be the output line so this is the block diagram of 4 is to 1 multiplexer so multiplexer also having the enable signal that is we have another input known as e that is enable signal as long as enable signal is one the multiplexer is active if enable signal is zero then irrespective of select lines output is always zero now let me write the truth table for 4 is to 1 multiplexer so let me write the truth table this is the truth table so here e is enable signal s1 is one of the select line s0 is another select line and y is the output so as i said when enable line is zero irrespective of s1 and s0 maybe s1 and s0 are zero or one that is it may be zero or one it may be zero or one output is always zero if enable signal is one so to make four is to one max active this enable signal should be always one so let it be one always so now as i said here we have two select lines s1 and s0 with the two select lines there are four possible inputs so s1 may be zero s0 may be zero s1 may be zero s0 may be one similarly s1 may be one s0 may be zero both may be one so now i'll tell you how this mux will work so here if s1 and s0 s1 is 0 and s0 is 0 in that case this multiplexer will select the line d0 so in that case the d0 line is connected to output so in that case the whatever the data present at a d0 line that is if d0 is 0 0 will transfer if d0 is 1 1 will transfer so i can say when s1 is 0 and s0 is 0 y is equal to d0 so y will be equal to d0 similarly when s1 is 0 and s1 not is 1 in that case it will select d1 so d1 line is connected to output so in that case y output is equal to d1 if d1 is 0 y will become 0 if d1 is 1 y will become 1 so therefore when s1 is 0 and s0 is 1 output is d1 like this similarly if s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 in that case d2 line will be selected it is connected to output like this this d0 and d1 will be disconnected so at any time only one out input line is connected to output depending on the select line so in this case y will be equal to d0 similarly when both are 1 1 then d3 line is connected to output so in that case we can have y is equal to d3 so now let me write the boolean expression so here i can say i can write output y is equal to so here with respect to this row that is when s1 is 0 and s0 is 0 so i can write the expression as so here 1 is with respect to e so I, wherever there is 1 we have to write direct variable that is e so here we have 
S1 is 0 and S0 is 0. If it is 0, we have to take it as complement that is S1 bar and S0 bar. So this is with respect to and we have D0. This is D0 plus. So with respect to second row, I can write it as E S1 bar S0 D1. That is E S1 bar S0 D1 plus then we have with respect to this row, we have E S1 S0 bar D2. That is E S1 S0 bar T2 plus with respect to this row, I can write it as E S1 S0 D3. That is E S1 S0 D3. Now with the help of this Boolean expression, I can draw the logic diagram. Let me draw the logic diagram for this. So here we can see that we have four product terms. So I need four AND gates. So here I have used four AND gates. Each AND gate is with respect to each product term. So here we can see that each product term is having four inputs. So each AND gate will be having four inputs. All the So now let me consider the first product term that is E S1 bar S0 bar D0. Let this line be E. So E we have E. S1 bar, let this be S1, this be S0. So here output of inverter is S1 bar. So this line is nothing but S1. So here output of inverter is S0 bar and this is S0. So now let me implement. So let me consider the first product term. So for the first product term, we have E, S1 bar, S0 bar and D0. So let one of the input for the AND gate is D0. Another input is E. So this is E. And we have S1 bar. So here I can get S1 bar. And we have S0 bar. So this is S0 bar. And here we have S1 bar. Connect from here. So output of this is nothing but that is E S1 bar. S0 bar D0. So similarly, now let me consider second product term. So here we have the inputs E S1 bar S0 D1. Let one of the input is the D1. So let it be D1. Then we have S1 bar. So here is S1 bar. I can take from here S1 bar. This is S1 bar. Then we have S0. So this is S0. And we have enable signal. So this is enable signal. So output of this is we have E S1 bar S0 D1. So similarly for the third product term we have E S1 S0 bar D2. So let one of the input is D2. Another input is enable line. One more input is S1. S1 is available here. Let me take from here. This is S1. Then we have S0 bar. So this is S0 bar. So output of this is we have E S1 S0 bar D2. So similarly Let me take four product term that is E S1 S0 D3. So this is enable line. This is E. S1 is here. We have S1. We have S0. And we have another input that is D3. Let me connect D3 here. This is D3. The output of this is E S1 S0 D3. Then there is a plus between each product term. So we should use, we have to connect all these outputs to OR gate. Let me consider four input OR gate. So output of OR gate is Y. So connect these all outputs to 
or get so this is the complete structure or logic circuit of 4 is to 1 multiplexer thank you for watching